Hey guys, how you doing? It's Sean here. Now, if you're watching this video, you've read the post in the Weight Loss Success Facebook page. Um, so, hi, thank you for reading, and thank you for wanting more information about these questions and how they might relate to you. <coughs> now, first of all, these questions are ones which I tend to use at the start of every coaching session. It gives me a greater idea about what it is you want specifically, what's getting in your way, and what needs to ideally happen for you to get to where you want to be. And that's then something that, as a coach, I can work with you on to get you, again, where you want to be. Now, by answering these yourself, will also give you a greater amount of clarity about, firstly, how you actually want to feel. I mean, that's the first thing. How often do I actually sit down and think, well, this is what I really want? And it's not very often. But also, why you don't feel that way? And again, if you do think about what you do want, how often do you think about why you don't feel that way right now? And again, it's not very often. And then the third thing, what would need to happen for you to feel this way is going to give you a lot of direction, a lot of clarity on actually what you need to work on to get this feeling that you want to have. And that's very, very important. That alone can give you a pathway to follow. Even without working with a coach, just on your own, it will give you a pathway to follow to get closer to the success that you desire. So, how do you want to feel right now? Now, this could be absolutely anything. It could be that you want to feel like you know how to lose weight. You know, at the moment you're, you're not very sure on what to do to, to, to lose weight and you want that clarity and you want that knowledge on what to do next. How do I do this? You might want to feel happy. It could be as simple as that. You might want to feel happy. Happy with what? It could be happy with anything. Happy at work, happy at home, happy with your significant other, happy with your kids. But that could be how you want to feel. It could also be you might want to feel loved you know, loved from your partner. Could be love from your kids, love from your friends, love from your family, it doesn't matter. Love might be the important thing to you right now. That could be the feeling that you want. So this feeling doesn't just have to be happiness, love, passion. It could be a feeling of anything. It could relate to anything as well. So how do you specifically want to feel right now? That's your first question. Get a pad, get some paper, write it down in as much detail as is needed for you. Then question two, why don't you feel that way right now? So this is where you're going to list your reasons as to why you don't feel this way. Again, as m the more description you can give, the better here. So it could be a case of, you know, if you want to feel love with your significant other, so why don't you feel that way right now? Well. We don't really talk very much. We uh, we get home from work and sit there and watch TV and make the dinner. You know, we just end up living around each other. It could be, you know, we we've not made love for for months. Um, you know, I, I don't feel like he loves me anymore. I don't feel like he finds me attractive anymore. These could all be reasons as to why you don't feel the love that you desire to feel. Now, once you got those down, you move on to the third question. What would need to happen for you to feel love? This is where you list the things, or essentially the direction, the strategies of what you need to have happen for you to feel the love that you want. It could be, as an example, a date night once a week. It could be more time with the TV off and more time talking. It could be having that passion. Once you've got those ideas down, you can start to formulate a, an action plan of how to make those things happen. And in this case, a lot of it might just be down to communication, speaking to your partner, working out what they want, what you want, and so on and so forth. Obviously, I'm not a relationship counsellor by any means, shape or form, it's just the example today. But it will give you the direction and the steps that you need to start taking to feel the way you want to feel. And then the next part, part four, which obviously isn't written down here, is take action. What have you got to lose? So there are the three questions guys. Thank you for watching. Um, if you are comfortable enough, please put your answers in the comment box um, under the Facebook post. Um, I'll, I'll make it a, uh, you know, I'll respond to everyone, let's say. 
and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Have a good day.